Hello, hello. I actually have to door. Oh, I already messed up the first thing I'm gonna say. I actually have to close my door real quick. So hold on. Hey, hello. Okay. <sighs> A lot is. I'm quite busy today. I'm quite very much busy today, but. Let me just start from the beginning, right? Let me just start from the beginning. So, yesterday, I was supposed to stream yesterday because I usually stream on weekdays and I don't normally stream on weekends and today's Saturday, so... Today's Saturday, right? Yeah, today's Saturday. So, <laughs> I just have to make sure. Um, so yeah, today's stream is quite abnormal. First of all, it's five hours earlier than I usually would stream. Second of all, it's again on a Saturday. Uh, but I'm streaming today because I didn't get to stream yesterday because I suddenly, suddenly came up. Suddenly, suddenly came up. Something suddenly came up uh, around the time I was going to stream and then I didn't realize like, oh shoot, I have to, this is actually important, so I have to cancel stream. So that's what I did. Uh, I did announce it on my Discord server though, so I mean, aha, uh -huh, join the Discord server. Anyway, <laughs> uh, anyway, anyway, uh, so... What was I gonna say, man? What was I gonna say? So yeah, so yesterday I said that I was gonna stream today instead, but just earlier. So that's why I'm here right now. But the thing is, the thing is that uh, I'm not gonna stream for long because I'm still busy. So I'm still dealing with the thing that happened yesterday. So today's stream will be really, really short, probably like an hour long or an hour and a half or something like that. Not very long. Just kind of wanted to sit down and like, you know, compensate for my absence yesterday. But anyway, that's it. Okay, get some more music request things. Uh, the music request thing is for when I do live song covers. So since I'm not doing any covers right now, then it's closed. But whenever I do, I'll, I'll reopen them back. I feel like I should probably clarify that in the description for that. Because <laughs> I don't think I... Oh wait, no, I did. It's in the description. Anyway, my brain is like malfunctioning right now. But yeah, so that's literally... That's literally it. That's literally all I wanted to say. Oh yeah, uh, so also going along with that, how I'm like still dealing with something in real life. I have an event tonight in my Discord server and I'm not entirely sure if I can host it. I'm not super sure because it might interfere with the thing I'm doing, but we'll see. Hopefully they can though because we're playing Gardic Phone and I've always wanted to play it because I didn't know that they had an online option because I played it in real life before and it's really fun. But anyway. And I'm talking, let's <laughs> let's get into the art. So today uh, we are working on this big Genshin piece. I haven't um, I haven't worked on this in a while. <laughs> like, a, like a while. It's been quite a long time. The thing is like, it's like, I want to keep working on it. Like I really want to like color it and stuff like that, but I just do not want to draw Zhongli. I just don't want to. He's like the only thing I'm procrastinating. I just really don't want to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to work on literally everything else as much as I can before I draw Zhongli. I, and I know that Zhongli is like standing right there. He's like staring at me like, Ari, go draw me. No, I'm not going to. I'm actually just going to do literally everything else except draw him. So that's what we're going to do today. First of all, I wanted to, um, I wanted to like mess with the line art a little bit because uh, I wanted to test out like this kind of line art style where it's like, thick in some places and thinner in some places uh so that's what i'm gonna do first and then i'll actually work on zhongli probably won't but like you know that's the that's the little what's it called that's the what is it called that's the to-do list for today ow god I just hit my hand okay <sighs> i am not prepared to do this anyway how are you doing? How are you doing today? I have not really done much today. I'm not gonna lie. Like I genuinely have not done anything. I've like I woke up and I played Genshin and then that's it. And then that's the end of my day. <laughs> and now I'm here because I'm streaming. You know what's funny though? Funny though is that I also wasn't going to stream today. Like I know I said yesterday that oh yeah I'm gonna stream. I'm gonna stream to make up for it. But I was today when I woke up I was like I don't feel like streaming. But I changed my mind because I was like, you know what? Sucks to suck. <laughs> I want to try to like, not, uh, like I want to get in the habit of fulfilling my promises or something like that. I don't know how to phrase it, but if I say I'm going to do something, I want to get in the habit of actually doing it instead of just like 
canceling it. <laughs> but anyway, if I'm alright, that's good to hear. Very, very surprising. Usually people who uh, follow me after raids don't stick around to like watch any of my future streams, so I'm glad you're here. Oh my god, this line is gonna kill me. Okay. <laughs> see, like you can kind of see the difference now. You can kind of see like the shadows before I even actually put the shadows in, if that makes any sense. And it looks more like cartoonish instead of like realistic, which I like. At first, when I was drawing this, I was like, I really want to try to make this realistic looking and stuff, like most of my other, like, drawings, but then I realized, no, I don't think I should, because everyone always says, like, the one thing that they like about my art is that it's, like, really cartoonish and, like, you know, so I was like, you know, I might as well, like, stick with that, I might as well, like, keep doing that and not, like, deviate and, like, try to be special, but not even, not even special. Realistic drawing, I feel like realistic drawing is so... Not overdone, but it's so, like, prominent. I don't know how to explain this. Like, a lot of art classes, they always teach you how to draw realistically and stuff like that, but I feel like it's important to get in touch with, like, your more imaginative, creative, cartoonish side, if that's your thing, but... Yeah! Anyway, sorry, a little long rant. He was trying to get here yesterday. Yesterday? Yeah, okay. Like... <laughs> I was- I really- the thing that came up, I literally did not know that it was happening and I felt really bad for forgetting it, but basically I had something come up with my family and I was like, oh my god, <laughs> I literally forgot about it. I felt really bad cancelling. Anyway, my iPad died when I charged and I was late. Oh god, I'm so sorry to hear that. I haven't used my iPad in so long. I have- I've had my iPad for years and I used it for a long time, but then I got my phone and then I stopped using it. And now my iPad, like, doesn't really work very well because it's old now. <laughs> what the heck? I feel like I would use my iPad more if it was... If it supported, like, uh, what's it called? Like, drawing. Because it doesn't have... I don't have, like, an Apple Pen or anything or any kind of pen pressure thing for it. But I, and even if I did, I don't think I'd be very good at it because I'm... I'm, 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 I'm very much used to using my tablet and computer. Oh my god, this line is gonna kill me oh my god oh my god oh my god there you thank you there you go <laughs> see like you can already see the difference it's really cool but this line is kind of too thick <laughs> ayo if i sub i want to see you make snake from mgsv not yesterday huh the day before wait let me read it reread that again hold on hold on after i draw this line Okay, what? <laughs> you know, if I sub, I want to see you make snake. What is MGSV? That sounds familiar, but I don't know what that is. Oh my gosh, please. <laughs> this, I'm so- my line art has- I used to be so good at line art. I don't know what the heck happened. I genuinely used to be so good. Also, I know I just said like a bunch of things are happening at the same time right now, but I just realized that, okay, my aunt is... She's not here right now, but she's gonna come back, and if she comes back like really soon, then... Uh, I don't want to end this stream, but then I kind of have to. Let's just hope that she doesn't come back. <laughs> oh, Metal Gear Solid! Okay, there you go. My brain was... I Like, I know the acronym, but like, I couldn't connect the... Okay, anyway. I do take commissions. My commissions are open. That is one thing. I haven't advertised them very much. I know I probably should. That's the thing with like my commissions. One of my like uh, New Year's resolutions was to advertise my commissions more, but like I'm so- I hate advertising. Advertising is so- like I have a love-hate relationship with it. Because I don't like uh, like selling myself. I don't know how to, this- that sounds awful. I don't- you know what I mean? I don't like asking for like anything of monetary value and stuff like that but also at the same time like i need commissions <laughs> but all these drawings that i do on stream are only to like promote my commission so hopefully you know hopefully it does the job holy moly that makes so much more of a difference 
See, I try to like do it down here, but it doesn't really look that good in my opinion. <laughs> but it looks good up here. Dude, I've got like 10 ads watching you. You know what's really funny is that, okay, when when I just, when I started to make videos on YouTube and stuff like that and started to like monetize my videos on my old channel, not like my current one, because my current one doesn't meet the requirements, which is really awesome. Anyway, when I was starting to make videos, I was like really young and I was like, oh my gosh, monetization? That means I can get like a lot of money from like ads, right? I was so wrong. I did get ads and I, I like people told me that they watched ads on my videos and stuff, but it makes like so... It does not make a lot. Like it's really... I feel like a lot of YouTubers are really misleading with like, oh, I make so much money from ad, ad revenue. No, it's really... Unless you get like millions, millions, millions of views and stuff, it the ad money just does not add up very quickly. I was looking at my like Twitch revenue like a few months ago. Sorry, my grandma's like walking around. I have to. I'm like hyper vigilant because I'm not technically supposed to be streaming right now, but at the same time, like I still can. My but my family's walking around, so I'm like hoping that they don't bother me. Anyway, what was I gonna say? When I was looking, when I was first looking at my Twitch revenue, I was like, dang, that's a lot of ads that people are watching, but at the same time, I make like two cents from it. What the heck? So yeah. <laughs> it's funny how that works though. Most of the money that I make comes from subs, which is tough to get because <laughs> not a lot of people sub. Even I don't. You know, I just realized I haven't used my Twitch sub on like ch on a channel in like two months. I feel really bad about that. I should remind myself to do that later. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna write that down. Twitch sub to someone because the person that I usually sub to doesn't stream very often, so I never catch his streams, and I feel really bad. Like, because I keep forgetting, and the only way that I remember is when he streams, but he doesn't stream very often, so you see where the loop is? Anyway. You know what is annoying, though? That just reminded me. You know when you're like... I don't know if it's just me, but I have to, like, reload my... Every time I want to watch a stream, I have to reload the app, like, 600 million times. Just because my internet's bad, which is awesome. But anyway, I hate that... Twitch makes you watch an ad literally every single time that you reload. Like, why? If I- well, I feel like they should, there should be like a refractory period or something like that. Is that the term? Refractory period? Like a period where you watch an ad once and then like you just don't watch one for like another, I don't know, 10 minutes or something like that. It's so annoying, I swear to god. Could have got a car and some gas for two cents back in the day. I have one, but it's free. Do you still want to get the money? You don't have to, but... You know what? That just reminded me of something. Oh, but I can't remember exactly what I was going to say. You're right, though. It's weird how, like, inflation works. Like, why... Why? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> like, why... Why were you able to, like, watch a movie for, like, 50 cents or something? Or not even 50 cents. Like, a penny or something back in the day. And then now it's, like, it costs, like, $20 to, like, go to the theater and get your, like, food and stuff. What the heck? Like, why? Makes no sense. No matter how many times I've tried to learn economics and stuff like that, I will never understand, like, inflation. Like, why can't you just- why can't we just like, universally agree to, like, bring the prices down? But they'll still have the same value and stuff like that, but just, like, put the number down. I don't even know how to explain this. Maybe some economics person has to talk to me about this, because, like, I don't get it. For me, when I get an app for you, I have to reload. Literally, yeah. Like, why- why can't they just give us that little period of like no ads for a while on this on this channel on the on a single channel like no ads for a little bit and then after like what 10 minutes are up or something you can watch an ad again you know what i mean not you can watch an ad again i mean like you watch an ad again i don't understand like literally one time i was rating someone and i couldn't watch like their reaction and stuff like that because i had to reload like six times and each time they gave me an ad like why why? I'm also realizing that I don't even think I finished coloring Hu Tao. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't finish co <laughs> I didn't finish coloring her. <laughs> awesome. Very awesome. I think... 
I don't know. Are these ropes or ropes? What can I talk about? I was like, I had a list of topics to talk about because a lot has happened within the past like two days. That I can't forget remember anything. Oh, okay. So I've been watching some gameplays of Persona 4. I was actually watching before I even started streaming, like right now. And holy moly. There's this one character in it that I just genuinely hate. Like, I just hate him so much. I Like, there's genuine disdain in my heart for him. I hate him. And his name is Yosuke. I hate him so much. He's so annoying. And every time he pops up, I get so mad. Like, why is he like that? I could go on an entire rant about this, but I hope- I wish that someone who knew Persona was here. Which reminds me, Tony, if you're watching this VOD somehow... SMH. It's been a while since you- since you swung by. What happened, buddy? M Mans was like, yeah, I'm gonna- I'm gonna catch the next RA stream. And he never- he never shows up, I was- <laughs> It's okay, Tony, if you're actually watching this, it's okay. Damn, that hat looks really nice. Okay. I'm kind of conflicted though because like the lighting is not really correct. It's okay. It's fine. No one will notice, right? Right. The only problem with this really thick uh, line art thing is that I have to chill out on like actually shading because too much shading is just kind of overkill. So when I color it and stuff, I have to focus on the highlights. No offense, but I'm not rocking pride one. What does that mean? You not rocking with pride month? Is that what you meant? Can I tell a dark humor joke? Well, shoot, man, I don't know. I don't like where this is going right after you said that you're not rocking with Pride Month. <laughs> a little nervous now. I was gonna say, oh yeah, the reason why I, I was reminded of Persona is because we're listening to Persona music right now. Dude, the music is so good though. Jeez, man. There was a point in time, I think like two weeks ago or something like, maybe not two weeks ago, like one week ago. Time flies fast, ba 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 ba. time flies fast, flies by so fast, so quickly is what I'm trying to say. Like I thought the 28th was two weeks ago. What? It was literally last week. Like almost exactly last week. What the heck? That looks cool. I also kind of want to try like, cross-hatching and stuff like this thing i don't know i just saw like that looks really nice i saw like one of my favorite artists and like post something that i really really liked it's actually set as my background right now my iphone background right now and i want to like i want to copy them but not like copy you know what i mean i just want to like copy some of their techniques and stuff like that Didn't get the blind kid anything for his birthday. All right, okay, where's this going? Where's the punchline? I thought every week was two weeks ago to school ending, literally. Oh my gosh, wow. What day is it today? Hold on, let me look at my calendar. One, two. Wow, school has been out for me for almost three weeks. Are you kidding me? That it had literally has not felt like three weeks. Oh my gosh, that's actually kind of shocking. <laughs> I genuinely, like, three, what? It's been three weeks? What the heck? It literally has not felt like three weeks. It's felt like two weeks at, at the most. At the most, it's felt like two weeks. Wow, I need to upload a video soon. That just reminded me. That's funny. <laughs> Are you kidding me? My semester ended so long ago. And what makes it even worse is that, uh, What's it called? My summer break is extremely long. Like in high school, actually not even just in high school, just my school years in general. Uh, my high, my, I'm so sorry. I just cannot speak today. My summer breaks is what I'm trying to say. My summer breaks were like three months long or like 
two and a half months more like it. And you know how long my summer break is now? It's four months. It is four months long. Like, are you kidding me? I mean, I could have taken summer classes, but like, heck no, I'm not doing that. So I have a four month long summer break. That's insane. You're lucky, I know. It's weird. I've I never thought about it until I looked at the schedule and I was like, oh shoot, I start school again in like September. <laughs> Technically August, but like the classes really start picking up in like September, so. I feel so bad for my friends too because they have a quarterly system, so and I have a semester system. So they actually have to <laughs> they're still in school right now. They don't really get a long break ever. They, they don't get a long break, but they get more consistent, like, uh, frequent breaks, this is what I meant to say. I want a four-month break. I have never experienced this long of a break before. I don't even know what to do with myself. I am trying to look for a job, but the problem is that, like, I have no experience, and also there's not many openings near me. At least not very m much that I like. Cause like, sure, I could work at like, McDonald's or something, but I'm not saying that's a bad thing, but I just don't want to. There is this one position though that I've been like, my mom and I saw it and I was like geeking out over it because I really wanted to do it, but she was like, meh. But I was like, I really want to do it. And basically, uh, it's being a parade performer at SeaWorld. And when I saw it, and I saw the requirements for it, I was like, oh my gosh, I really want that job because that sounds really fun. Because I used to perform parades, and like, just perform in general. I'm I'm a performing arts person, so... When I saw it, I was like, oh my god, I really want to do that. But the, the only other problem... I mean, the only problem with it is that uh, I haven't danced in a really long time. Like, last time I did ev any kind of performance ever was more than a year ago. So I'm out of practice, and I'm also not very flexible anymore. So, I don't know. Unless they- unless part of the job- I mean, not part of the job, but unless they also like kind of like teach you at the same time and stuff like that, then yeah, maybe I can apply for it. But I'm assuming that they already want like past experience and they hold auditions maybe. I don't know. I'm just assuming. I'm not really sure because I haven't really looked into it very much, but like that sounds so fun. Skew jobs, I'm gonna be a, a, a what? A PMC? What's a PMC when I get out of high school? Okay, color guard member, Ari Hard Eyes. Hi, Olive. No, but like, really? Like, it lines up so perfectly. I like SeaWorld a lot. I know that they've done pretty bad things in the past, but I feel like they're improving, so I'm not really like super crazy about like the bad things that they've done. But, what was I gonna say? But literally, it lines up so perfectly. I would rather be dancing in a costume on the street for kids and families and stuff than uh taking orders at a fast food restaurant i'm just saying i'd much rather and i have the experience so i don't know we'll see i'm gonna really freaking hope that they don't have like very strict auditions and stuff like that because assuming because i'm pretty sure the position that was open was like a person in costume like like in one of those you know like animal costumes it's okay you know i just realized is that this is for sesame street parades so imagine imagine ari imagine me ari dressed up in an elmo costume prancing around the street just imagine I, honestly i feel like that'd be kind of fun honestly and also along with that that would okay <laughs> this is gonna sound really stupid but for a really really long time and i still have this fear right now I have a fear of like people in those kind of costumes like those like head to toe like anthropomorphic animal costumes you know what i mean i have a big fear of those i really don't like them like if you take me to universal studios right now and you tell me to take a picture with homer like homer simpson i cannot do it i just hate it so much i can't do it so solution is you put me in the elmo costume and i get paid to dance in the Elmo costume. And then I get over the fear of that because I'm in the costume, you know what I mean? And, I, and then I learned that there's nothing to be scared about. I don't know where the heck I got this fear. I genuinely have no idea where I got this fear. It's not even from like, I don't know, like Five Nights at Freddy's or something. No, it's not because of that. I had that fear before Five Nights at Freddy's and all that stuff. So like, 
where the heck did I get this fear from? My mom told me that I got the fear from my dad because my dad used to scare me a lot with that whenever we went to like Chuck E. Cheese and stuff. So I'm thinking it's that, but like, why? <laughs> why do I still have that fear? You know what I mean? I'm like all, it's been many, many years since then. So why am I still scared of that anyway? Sorry, that was a really long rant, but like I genuinely have no idea why. Private military contract. I see, I see. I feel like, okay, the thing is my, my dad, my dad worked in the Navy, right? And growing up, I always was like, my, like, I've always been told like, oh, you have to go to college. You have to go to college. Like it's your, not your only option, but like it's the main option that you should strive for, right? And most of that came, uh, mostly because of my dad because he was like okay when you grow up you shouldn't go to the military you shouldn't sign up for the military because i already served so you don't have to and i was like okay cool so basically what i'm trying to say is like sometimes i think about like oh my gosh how different would my life have been if i didn't have certain influences around me like if my dad hadn't been like oh yeah you don't have to go to the you don't have to go to the military and stuff like that like, where would I be right now? Because, first of all, if he didn't go, I wouldn't be able to afford college. So then where would I end up? You know what I mean? Would I have gone to the military? Anyway. I, like, I appreciate... Wow, why am I getting, like, so sentimental right now? I mean, like, I'm trying to say, like, I really appreciate, like, everything that has built me to who I am right now. That the only thing I'm worrying about is if I can dance in an Elmo costume <laughs> at SeaWorld. <laughs> for families and kids <laughs> oh god that's so funny no but the military like the the general thought of the military makes me really sad because i don't know like i said my dad had to serve for a few years when i was a kid and i never got to see him and stuff like that but it's all worth it but not really because obviously like he went through trauma and stuff like that you won't admit it, but... <sighs> I'm sorry, I'm getting very sentimental right now. It's because I've been thinking about these things lately, so it's now it's being brought up, and I'm just kind of rambling on and on. Sorry, a little personal. A little TMI, sorry. I want to kill a furry, what the heck? What do you mean? But going, okay, back to that... Back to SeaWorld thing, though. Because if it's not in... Because I would prefer not to be in a costume, right? I would much prefer not to be in a costume because I have more experience performing without that costume, right? But at the same time, like... Do I really want to perform as like a little rinky-dinky fairy? Like... Smiling for 10 minutes at... Actually, it's not even that bad. Smiling for 10 minutes is really not that bad. I could do that in my sleep. But like, I don't know, I just haven't performed in a really long time, so I'm like nervous about it. But okay, I shouldn't get too ahead of myself though, because I haven't actually like, I haven't actually like applied or anything like that, so it's no big deal. But it was either that or like a sales associate at SeaWorld. I don't know, those, I just really want to work at a theme park for some reason. That's one of my, like, since I was a kid, I've always wanted to work at a theme park. I don't know why. I just really like it. Like, if I could work at Disneyland, that'd be so sick. I hate how they treat you like weenies and then expect you to be a- Yeah, exactly. A soldier in the battlefield. Exactly. I don't know. The concept of the military is just very, very scary to me. A lot of, like, at my high school, a lot of people visited and, like, try to recruit kids and stuff like that. Since, since like, freshman year, you know what I mean? And I think that's really messed up. Like, I just genuinely think that's really messed up of them because they shouldn't i feel like the military shouldn't be glamorized as like this really great option you know what i mean i feel like it just shouldn't because it's not it's more uh like obviously i haven't been to the military i haven't been in the military but like i i have family around me that has and i've also learned a lot from just like personal experience personal experiences with them in general and i feel like i don't know it's just weird to me you know how like recruiters just like come to visit your school when you're like 
13 or 14 and then they're like hey the military is you should sign for the military because you get all these benefits and stuff like that it's just weird that they that they do that so young if if they were introduced if they introduced to if they introduced the military to people for like 18 year olds 17 year olds and like they started then then okay i would understand because that's the age where you're starting to make a decision about your future and stuff like that i understand that but like when they do that at like 14 or 13 when kids should just be focusing on being kids it's just very weird to me and kind of i don't want to say see i want to say it's kind of predatory but it's not i don't think that's the right word for it i think it's a little too intense but just weird because i know a lot of friends who grew up thinking oh my gosh my only option is the military similar to how i thought my only option is college very similar except it's just the military i don't know very weird rant but it's just weird because and even if you did go to the military at like 18 it's you're still really young like i know that people say like oh yeah 18 is like the adult age that's when you turn an adult but I think people need to remember that like 18 is not very far away from 17, it's only one year. And it's the same thing, 18 is not very far away from 16. 18 is not that far away from 15. You know what I mean? It's only a couple year difference. It's not... I don't know how to explain this. Like, yeah, sure, 18 is the legal age of being an adult. But that doesn't mean you are an adult. You feel me? You feel me here? I can go on an entire, like, long-winded rant about the adult age and, like, the transition from being a high schooler to being an adult because that's literally what I'm going through right now. <laughs> Not really, but it's similar. I really don't like how I drew Hu Tao. I feel like I should have drawn her last because it doesn't- it didn't- Anatomically, it does not look very correct at all. But it's fine. I really want to keep watching Persona 4. I'm pretty sure the guy I'm watching is like really near the end too, so like I, I'm just, I couldn't- you know what I could have been doing right now? I could have been watching Persona 4 SMH. I should probably color this thing so I don't have to- I don't want to though. <laughs> I should color it, but I don't want to. Beep, 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 beep. Sorry, I'm very quiet. I'm listening to this song because it's just reminding me. <laughs> it's reminding me of Persona. I'm telling you, when I tell you I'm like obsessed with Persona right now, I'm not exaggerating. I just really love it so far. And my friend told me after I watched this Persona 4 gameplay to watch Persona 3. And I've never, I have no, ex I was going to watch Persona 5. But I have no experience at all with Persona 3, so I'm not sure how I'm going to like it. But I don't know, he just told me to watch it, so I guess I will. But I really wanted to watch a Persona 5 gameplay, because the last time I watched it was like in 2017 or 2018 when it came out. And I forgot which year exactly, but like it's just been so long and I want to rewatch it. But he's like, no, you should watch it. Anyway. I don't know why I didn't do these little rope lines before. It's weird. Should I save? I should probably save soon. Hold on. After this. I will save after this. Holy moly, it's already been 30 minutes. Ow. Nice, nice. Okay. I don't know why my coloring is all like messed up and like grainy. That's weird. Okay. Oops. Which one is this? Okay, it's this layer. Nice. Ah, 
I'm not excited to draw Kaya. Look at <laughs> he's so complicated. Jesus Christ. What is this? Hmm. Ooh, that reminds me. Okay. So in my in my Serena teapot, right? Today I finally reached rank 10. It took literally forever. I'm not even lying to you. I've been working on it ever since launch and it has taken me so darn long so stinking long for me to get there but hey i'm finally there right and for since the beginning i've always been like floating abode is the best realm because it's like literally so pretty it's just really pretty right from what you see in the preview but i've come to the conclusion that i actually hate it and i don't like floating abode i do like floating abode but i don't like it that much anymore because first of all, all the islands are so freaking far apart. It takes, it takes, like I timed this, it took maybe like two to three minutes just to get from one island to the other. Like why? It takes, like the distance is so long and they don't have any kind of like tele teleport waypoint. Which reminds me, I really wanted to test out if the, if the portable waypoints work in floating boat. I'm not, I don't think they would. But anyway, uh, <laughs> I was going to say, uh, but yeah, also another down downgrade? No, another con of floating a boat is that it literally the time never changes at all. So it's always constantly like midday kind of sunset-ish. And I mean, to some people I guess that might be a good thing because it's really it is pretty, but like at the same time, you never get to change the <laughs> like you never get to change it. That's another con. And then when I reached, I think rank 8 is when you unlock the next realm, other than the first one you chose. I, un I unlocked Cool Isle because I was like, oh, that's the Mondstadt one, and that's... I don't know. <laughs> I just didn't want to pick Emerald Peak because since the beginning I was like, okay, Emerald Peak is the ugliest one. Because I never actually really looked at it, I just looked at the preview and I was like, okay, that's it. But, okay, let me save first while I'm talking about this. But I always thought that, yeah, Emerald Peak is the worst one. But then today, I reached rank 10 and I unlocked Emerald Peak and it's literally so pretty. It is literally so pretty. It's like it beats Floating Abode by a landslide. It, and it's unbelievable how I like didn't think about this. It's so good. Like, it's kind of like a mixture between both Cool Isle and Floating Abode because Floating Abode has like the separated, separated islands and stuff like that. So does Emerald Peak. It also has separated islands. It's just not like completely floating. It's on mountains and stuff like that. So, and then it also has a little bit of Cool Isle because it's Mondstadt themed. And I didn't know that it was Mondstadt themed. I actually thought that it was Liyue themed because like the mountains look kind of like uh, Jingyun Peak. I was like, okay, this is a Liyue one, but like, I don't really like Jingyun Peak that much. So, meh, you know, but I found out it's actually Mondstadt themed because Mondstadt music plays in the thing. And I mean, in the realm. And plus the more I looked at it, I was like, yeah, these mountains and stuff are very much Mondstadt. So, I learned my lesson, not to judge a book by its cover, but uh, it's literally so pretty. I think I'm gonna main this uh, realm. It's so good, and I already started building in it because since I reached uh, Trust Strength 10, like I unlocked basically all the furniture that there is to unlock. <laughs> so I'm actually gonna start like building now. There are people who like have been building and also reached rank 10 way earlier than me and I have no clue how they did it because I was like trying to speed run this thing and I still just got to rank 10 but people had it so much longer before I did and it's so crazy anyway <sighs> I can talk a lot in like one breath I never really realized that I don't know why I made the line art so thin. I think I explained it in my first stream when I was drawing this, like why I made it so thin, but I regret that because now I'm going over it with thicker line art. Like what? I kind of like that line between there because it kind of separates this big chunk. I don't know, I think maybe if I... No? Technically, you know, you know, I just realized technically this should go straight down like that and it should end there Like all this right here should be just gone and it should just look like that. I don't know why I made this so large 
Oh my gosh. Blame past Ari for literally everything that I'm struggling with right now. I do some karaoke, I swear to god. This is literally my favorite song. <laughs> Not my favorite song. This is my second favorite song from Persona 4. I need for you just my chair. understand how I literally forget everything I'm talking about within like two seconds I was because I was thinking oh man I should probably talk about something because I just haven't talked about a lot <laughs> this stream but I, I had the thought and it just left me so quickly I just can't remember it's so frustrating <laughs> Nice. I'm really genuinely liking how this is turning out. I think it's a good decision to make all the line art kind of thicker than usual in some areas. And I think it, when I do that like cross hashing thing, it'll look even better. But I want to do that with like an actual line tool. I realized if I use my my normal like you know hatching like that, then it's going to be kind of inconsistent. And I don't know. <laughs> My perfectionist side just does not want that, so I'm gonna use an actual line tool probably. It's gonna be way annoying though because I have to erase all the excess lines. Mm. Okay, pros versus cons, I guess. <laughs> I don't know what my next cover should be. I was going to cover Still Into You by Paramore and like post it today because uh, it's my friend's birthday and he likes that song so I was going to. I think I got sidetracked and I forgot to do it. And it turns out he doesn't really want it anyway. Not, not that he doesn't want me to cover it, but like, I asked him, like, oh, do you mind me for your birthday? I can probably cover something for you. And he said, no, don't do it. And I was like, okay, maybe I won't then. <sighs> so I don't know. I don't know what my next cover should be. I have like a long list of like stuff to cover, but I don't want to cover any of them at the same time. So I'm like stuck because I'm at a loss for ideas. It's weird because not all of them, some of them are still extremely thin, so it looks kind of uneven. But I don't want to go over every single line, that's my only problem. And I just realized this white thing in the background is still- <laughs> It's still like there, hold on. Let me delete it. Not delete it, but... Temporarily remove it. Aw, look at that. Three characters and a floating staff of Oma, awesome. And some rips in the- <laughs> in the background. Very swag. Ooh, 
What is this song called? Hold on. It's called Smile. Okay. Oh god, I remember what I was going to talk about. Oh my god, I finally remembered. Sorry, that was like literally five minutes ago or something like that, and I literally just remembered. Okay, so last night- <laughs> So last night- Okay, my friends have been talking- been talking to me about uh, watching Bo Burnham's special on Netflix, right? The thing is, is that I don't- it's not like I don't like Bo Burnham, but his comedy is just not my style, you know what I mean? I- I think he's great, and I like some of his songs. But also at the same time, I don't. So, <laughs> I was really reluctant because I was like, eh, I don't really want to watch it. But he was like, no, I should watch it. And I was like, okay, fine. So last night, I decided to watch it. And meh. Uh, as I expected. I did like, I really liked some of the songs. Like, there's this, there's one song. I don't even know the titles, though. That's my only problem. And I don't know how the lyrics. So that's also another problem because I can't just ask, oh, what's the one with this lyric? I can't remember any of it. So, <laughs> um... There were three songs I liked. I liked one right after the one, ex like literally right after intermission, like right after it, like the first one you hear. I like that one a lot, and I also like the ending song. And then the other one that I just can't remember the name of because I don't, I never knew that they had names until just like last night when my friend was like, "Oh yeah, I like this one and this one and this one," and I was like, "Oh, they have names." Anyway, so yeah, overall, I really, I did like it though. Like I liked. The message of it and i liked uh that's basically it. i just really liked the message of some of the songs and stuff like that and i really like the overall like theme that it's not supposed to be like a comedy special it's more like a compilation of like thoughts and stuff like that i don't really know how to explain it but yeah i still liked it but also it was a little bit too artsy artsy fartsy for me <laughs> Which is funny because I'm usually- I used to be really into that stuff, I don't know. I think nowadays I'm just not really that much into it anymore. But I think it's still good. There were some parts where he was like having a mental breakdown. And I was just like, oh god, I'm quite uncomfortable right now because that's a little bit too relatable. I think the reason why I just didn't really like it that much is because it was- some parts were just way too relatable and I just didn't want to confront that. <laughs> But it was still really good. I wouldn't re rewatch it. Like, it's not that good. But I, I still really liked it. It was a good, like, first time... First time, last time experience. <laughs> but it's literally just been all over my For You page. Literally, like, ev almost every single uh, TikTok that I've seen. Like, yesterday was all about Inside. Watch Bo Burnham's Inside. Oh, this is a song from Inside. I was like, okay, you know what? Shut up. I'm gonna watch it now. And then I did. Hopefully all of that will just go away now, because <laughs> I'm just tired of it. Alright, sick. I just don't know how I feel about this. I really like it, but at the same time I don't. I think it's just, I don't know, I think it's just the lack of shading at all. It makes it look really funny to me. But hopefully that will change. See, like, that little, like, hatching thing would look really nice in here because normally if I just leave it up to regular shading, just like putting a darker color in there, it would not look very... It would look, I mean, it would look correct. Why is there like... I feel like I'm seeing stuff fly all over my face right now, but there's literally nothing there. Anyway, <laughs> sorry, I got really annoyed by that. Uh, Like if I just made it a darker color in here, here, I'll just show you an example. If I just put like a darker color like, ooh, there it is, you know what I mean? It would just, it would look correct, but it wouldn't look very stylish. And it would, it'd be nice if I had something like this, where it's kind of like, you know? 
This gives a little more style, you know what I mean? A little more pizzazz. One thing I also want to work on with my art is just drawing hands in general. I used to be pretty decent at it and then I fell out of practice and now I can't do it anymore. <laughs> that look correct? Kinda! Actually, that really isn't that bad. I kinda like that. It looks like it's indenting it a little bit, but when you zoom in, it's also not really. Here's what it looks like without it, but here's what it looks like with it. And it looks really nice! I'm gonna keep that. My nose is so itchy for no reason. What the heck? Nice, nice, nice. I like that. Alright, so now we're gonna just boop, boop, Thick lines, thick lines, thick lines. Nice. Then boom, more thick lines. Just thick lines everywhere because this is a big muscle. So it needs thicker lines. Oh my gosh, I love Persona music so much. This is so good. I tried learning- okay, so like- when you first listen to this, you listen to the bass- you're listening- you listen to the bass line and you think, oh, that's not very complicated, it's just like a few notes. I tried playing these kinds of bass lines and I'm so bad at it for some reason. I'm literally so bad at it, it's embarrassing. I think I might make this a little less intense line like that. I don't know. That looks nice. I will keep that. That's a little too thick. Maybe? Oh gosh, why did it zoom out like that? Actually, I'll keep that. Oh shoot, no! I hate when I do that. Like, I'll accidentally tap the screen, so technically I made a new line, and then I can't undo it because I made a new line. So now I have to try to recreate it. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be awful. Yeah? Yeah, good enough. Not perfect, but good enough. I don't know, I just feel like it's too intense, though. Oh, did you hear that? My cat just meowed. Gosh, this is one thing I don't like about digital art, especially just like with drawing in a tablet separate from the computer, is that I can't like control my pen very well. To be fair, my stabilizer is quite uh, <laughs> low. Not low. Actually, it is a little bit low. What does this do? Alright. What the heck? That's literally perfect. Hold on. It's a oh my gosh, there is something flying. Oh my gosh, there is something flying in my face. I was right. Oh my gosh, I thought I was tripping. No, there's a there's a bug in here. Oh my god. I want to kill it because it's bothering me. But it's on my wall and it's like so far away. Okay, come here. How am I going to get it? I can throw something at it, but then it's going to... Okay, you know, I'm going to kill this bug. Hold on. No! I got I missed it. You're kidding. It fell down. It fell down further where I can't reach it. That's so awesome. That's amazing. Die! Did it die? No, it didn't. Oh my god, where'd it go? It's a fly, but it's not- it's like a really tiny one. You know what? I saw a TikTok of like someone shaming people of, uh, for killing bugs and stuff. It was like... They have lives too, and stuff like that, you know? But the thing is, like, ugh, come on, there's so many bugs <laughs> in the world. If I kill one fly, or like, if I kill one mosquito, or if I kill one spider, what the heck? That's not gonna make that big of a dent, come on. Because there are a lot of people in the world who also don't kill bugs. Like, what? I, it's one. 
Plus they're annoying. So, you know, like, what's the, what the heck is the point of mosquitoes? Just tell me. Like, someone tell me what the heck is the point of mosquitoes. Why do we need mosquitoes so badly that people don't want us to kill them? Why? Like, there's just no point. They're so useless. Tell, like, what do they do? Are they a natural prey of some species that that species can't eat anything else except mosquitoes? Is that something? Like, I understand stuff like ants. I understand bees. Definitely I understand bees. Bees are very important. I understand even like, I don't know, shoot, like butterflies. I don't even know what butterflies are useful for. That's But they're just more useful than mosquitoes. That's all I know. They're so annoying. Any kind of flying thing, just it's so annoying. What's the point? Do they eat decomposing stuff, maybe, perhaps? Is that something? I know that flies do that, I'm pretty sure. But like, what's the what's the point of them? What the heck is the point of mosquitoes? No point. There's just no point. No one can argue with me about this. They're just they're annoying. They suck your blood. They bite you literally everywhere. They follow you around. They're scarily, like, big sometimes. One time there was a mosquito when I was looking for my cat, there was a mosquito that flew inside my house and it was literally the size of my palm. It was so big. Like, there's just no reason. Why do they have to be that big? I hate mosquitoes. <laughs> and they buzz like so, like, uh, so annoying. In Animal Crossing, okay, the reason why I just realized this is because in Animal Crossing, I didn't realize that there is a mosquito flying around because I didn't really realize that, oh, summer started uh, technically in Animal Crossing. And that's when like more bugs and stuff show up. Like, new species, right? To me, it's new because I got the game in de December, so... There was this, like, buzzing noise in my ear. It was just like... Bzz, bzz. And I was like, oh my god, is that real? Like, I was, like, trying to look around. I was like, is there actually a mosquito in here? Because it sounded like mosquitoes. So I was like, okay, is there actually a mosquito in here? But no, it just is bzz. It just bzz. Like, for five minutes straight or something like that. And I was like, why the heck is... Where is that buzzing coming from? And I realized, oh my god, it's a mosquito flying around in the game. And it took me forever to catch it, too. It was really annoying. But I caught it. I donated it. And now it's gone forever. But I'm telling you, there's just, there's just no point. Also, moths. What's the point of moths? I'm telling you, just any insect. Just name an insect that, that might be mildly annoying. And, and I just cannot find a reason for their existence. Like, it just, it just it doesn't make any sense. I like how I'm going to end the stream soon, and the last thing you're going to hear from me is how much I freaking hate mosquitoes and moths. Moths especially, because they, because you think that they're some kind of scary bug, but they're actually just a moth, so they're harmless. But at the same time, they're still scary, so like, what? <sighs> anyway. Moral of the story, I freaking hate bugs. I hate bugs so much. So, so much. They're annoying. <laughs> Nice, nice. I think, hold on. Let me do like a little bit more. Nice. Oh god. Nice. Okay, so I want to try one last thing before I go. So it would look like something like this, where it would like, you would draw the shading, right? And then you would just kind of cross hatch inside of it. You know what, on second thought, maybe I won't use the liner tool, because that's going to take a long time, and that looks really good already, so... <laughs> That looks really, really good, actually. Okay, but I don't want the shadow there, so let's test on something else. Let's test it... I don't know, let's test it on her leg or something like that. But then the problem is that this is gonna be like black liner and it's gonna be like really bold. So I might have to recolor this a little bit. Something like this. Wait, hold on. Boom. 
I'm really in the mood for ice cream right now for some reason. Yeah, that looked good. All right, so next time, you know what? I'll just leave that there just to no 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 because then I can't undo it. Let's just hope that next time I draw this, I'll remember to start doing that little cross hatching thing. Okay, anyway, it's been an hour and I have to go soon. So this is where it's gonna end. This is where we're gonna end for today. Okay, I'm not sure if any of my friends are online. It's kind of really early for any of my friends to be online. So I don't think we're gonna raid anyone today. Yeah, I'm completely right. I just checked. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna go for now. Uh, thank you for joining if you did. We got quite a bit done today. Let me go save real quick while I'm thinking about it. Because if I closed it without saving, I'd be very, very mad. Anyway, um, the next time I'll be live will be on Monday. We're going to... I don't know what we're going to do. I haven't even thought about it. I have no idea what we're going to do. We're either going to start a new... Uh, we're going to start the new... It's not really new, though. We're going to start the next Crooked Man game. Either that or we're going to just start some like different series entirely because i can't think of what i want to do so i don't know I'll, I'll choose eventually uh anyway that's what we're gonna do on monday and then the rest of the week is just gonna be like the same art and like stardew rally schedule anyway that's it i'll see you guys on monday then uh i'm not sure i don't know if i want to plug my discord because like i don't know if we're gonna host anything tonight but if we do host something tonight then join my discord server it's in my about page and yeah that's it uh have a nice day I will see you on Monday. Goodbye. Goodbye, 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 goodbye.